Hey guys, gals, and non-binary pals, my name is Ray, and today I am going to be talking about a topic that's kind of close to my heart and it's kind of near and dear, but at the same time, it still affects me to this day. One of the things that happened to me a lot when I was a child was we moved around quite a bit, and part of that came with a lot of baggage. We probably moved about, I want to say about eight to ten times in my entire life. And it came from moving cities, moving states, moving duplexes, apartments, houses, you know, not condos, but kind of similar to that. We lived in different cul-de-sacs, different neighborhoods. Basically, we lived everywhere. The only thing is we moved states about once, but we moved different cities constantly in my state. I live in Texas. And Texas is pretty big, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if any of you are not from the US, um, in comparison, the state of Texas is larger than the majority of Europe combined together. And that's pretty big just for a state. <laughs> but um, part of the journey of having to move a lot was I was not able to make a lot of friends growing up because I thought to myself, oh, well, I'm just going to be moving in a few years. What's the point in me making friends? And unfortunately, even as an adult, I still struggle to make friends. Sadly, because I didn't have a lot of friends, I stayed really close to myself and I was very introverted as a child and a lot of that came with basically being friends with my head. I didn't have imaginary friends but a lot of loneliness and isolation and sadly depression popped up at a really early age because of unfortunately the effects of me moving a lot. and. It almost felt as if moving was similar to a punishment. Anytime something seemingly positive happened, it felt as if we had to move again, which in a way almost felt as if I was being punished for doing something that I felt was good, as in joining a activity that I liked. Um, one of the big things I liked when I was in high school was I was part of the color guard. Anytime that there was any activities that I did enjoy, such as like color guard or choir, or um, I was part of student council, we were forced to move again. So I didn't really get the chance to actually participate in a lot of activities. I was part of them, but again, in the back of my mind, I already knew, well, we're just gonna have to move again. So there's not really any point in me doing this. And again, that still follows me as an adult. I don't really go out and do a lot of stuff because of the unfortunate fear of, well, we're just gonna have to pick up and move our lives again anyway. So there's not really a point in trying to make adult friendships or trying to essentially more or less join a community and actually establish myself as part of said community. One of the biggest things I can think of, at least as a child, is when I moved around a lot, I had to leave a lot of stuff behind. Like, I left a lot of toys behind. A lot of my photographs I used to have when we were kids always involved us either having stuff that's kind of packed up or having stuff that's more or less just already kind of hidden away. And part of that issue is again I look back on those memories and I see at least the one the pictures I still have because this is a whole nother topic I will talk about but my my mom had her apartment complex burned down and all of my childhood photos or more or less most of my childhood photos are gone at least all the ones I liked um but that's a whole nother topic that I'll get into at a later date um I look back on those memories and I don't really 
see them too fondly because all I could think of was us having to leave our lives again. Like we basically never got to really establish a true home life because of always moving and it still it still hurts being an adult and thinking about having to move again which traveling is fine i'm totally down to travel i would love to travel actually and just be able to go to a place for a little bit of time and then come back to my established home but thinking about picking up my entire house and picking up my entire life and moving somewhere else scares me a lot <laughs> especially because i now have an established home so seeing that fear of picking up my life and moving again just i'm not fond of it I'm really not fond of that idea. Sadly, one of the things I do remember the most about having to constantly move around was anytime there was a seemingly negative relationship that occurred within the lives of my maternal donor and whoever she was with at the time, they would always threaten to essentially either move or to kick us out of where we were living. I remember my entire senior year of high school basically already having my stuff packed up and ready to go because anytime there was any kind of fighting that occurred, my maternal donor would always come and be like, hey, um, Ray, we're gonna go and you're gonna go get your stuff. We're leaving, we're moving back in with, you know, your grandmother because I can't, I can't handle being here anymore. I can't do this. And so every time that would happen, I would have to call my boyfriend at the time and I would sob to him and cry and I would bawl and I would just go, oh God, babe, I'm so sorry, I love you. Um, we're gonna have to move. I might not ever see you again, blah, 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 blah. And it was traumatizing. It was really traumatizing. And I probably could have done a lot better on my tests during that year with my ACT and my SAT, but I was so scared of constantly having to move that I did horrible on my tests. But I had so m much stress on my mind at the time that that was all I could technically focus on. I wasn't thinking about my future ahead, I was thinking more of the somewhat seemingly immediate future, if that makes any semblance of sense. But it was definitely something that still impacts me to this day. And many people view moving as a relatively refreshing start to their lives or a brand new experience that they can enjoy. They can pick up everything and go and leave and start off fresh and start off new and do something. But to me, it just brings a sense of dread and a sense of discomfort and overall anxiety. And if you relate at all to this experience, please let me know if you had any experience with moving at all. Was it good for you? Was it bad for you? Because I want to know about y'all's experience with moving. For me, it wasn't exactly the best thing, but for other people, it might be seen as something that's more positive or more refreshing and more grand and great so again thank y'all for staying and listening and watching this video and if y'all like the video make sure that y'all like it if y'all want to subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the little bell icon because that lets me know that you know you want to be notified of more of my videos in the future and 
please feel free to share this with your friends or feel free to share this with like colleagues or whoever. And again, remember y'all are all beautiful butterflies. Y'all have a fantastic rest of the day, night, whatever time y'all are watching it. Bye!